seniors do lunch just about every day. But if there's a reason to celebrate, they go big. <laughs> this is the Westminster Senior Center's Halloween Luncheon. To make it all happen, it takes a great staff and a team of volunteers. Local high school students are giving their time to serve up lunch. Many of the senior members themselves also volunteer. But Ethel Harris didn't set out to when she first joined. I came over to take some lessons in line dancing, and they gave me an application. I filled it out, and they called me. So I came. And I've been retired since 1986, and I've been here since 1990. And I'm still volunteering, and I enjoy it because it's my second home. May we ask how old you are? 97 and a half. DJ Professor D kept the dance floor going strong. The retired college professor turned his love of music into a terrific side gig. He plays all the right tunes and even gets out on the floor to lead the line dancing. Ready. It was clear that a lot of effort went into picking these costumes, which also means making it easy for some. Well, he, I had to keep it simple for him. <laughs> and so I found this online and I said, okay, I'm a hippie. <laughs> she uh, has many costumes and I'm just kind of a tag along. Uh... He's a good tag along. <laughs> Next, it was time for some fun and games. An oldie but goodie, name that tune. So you have to identify the song, and if you can, the artist or composer. Okay, that's all you get. The wonderful energy today is a reflection of so much the center has to offer. Travis Ramsdell says he has the best job as recreation coordinator. I love every part of it. Um, just being able to, you know, connect with the seniors, um, being able to listen to their unique stories, their unique characteristics, um, seeing what they, you know, bring to the table um, and how over time it builds, you know, that community. This isn't just a party. This is a way for them to get together, to engage with each other, to build friendships. Then it was time for the big event. The costume contest. If you think Miss June has the most original costume, give her a And how do you pick a winner with so much style and creativity going around? If you think Donna and Mel has the best duo costume, give her a In the end, it was Donna Lee and Mel for best couple, and Ethel for the win for scariest costume. Yeah, I think Miss Ethel. It's an afternoon of a lot of laughs and picture taking. But as popular as this event is, great things take place here every day. Whether it's meeting people who share your favorite card game or catching up with the local pool sharks, you can find it here. We have dance classes, we have game groups. They can drop into the pool room and pick up a game of pool, ping pong, everything. You name it, we try to offer it. The center also has programs in place to address more pressing needs whether it's housing, whether it's transportation, some of those other things. So it's just a, a really welcoming, uh, friendly way to, to service them. The golden years are meant to be a time to enjoy life. The programs here are designed to help them do just that. You're seeing the familiar faces, you're seeing you know, not only seeing them participating in the different activities, but checking up on them on their life outside of the Senior Center. So it's all about building that familiarity with everyone and just, you know, being there in support for one another. From the Senior Center in the city of Westminster, this is Valerie Starn reporting. Hey.